is Delta 10? Like, I haven't heard anybody really talk about it. I know what Delta 8 is. I know what Delta 9 is. But now there's this thing called Delta 10 that people keep talking about. So I'm going to break it down for you. Basically, okay, let's, let's, I'm making it super simple. Delta 9, right? The chemistry, the carbon bonds, Delta 9 is like weed. It's marijuana. It's Delta 9. You take out one of those carbon bonds, you get Delta 8. Delta 8 is weaker than Delta 9. You take out another carbon bond, you make some chemical changes, blah, 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 you get delta 10. So delta 9 is your strongest, then you've got delta 8, and then delta 10 is your weakest. So if you're looking to, you're, maybe you've been using CBD for a while, but you're like, ooh, what's this THC thing? Like, I want to try it. But you're like, oh, but I don't want to get elevated, I don't want to get high, I don't want to lose my mind. I hear all these stories where people are like getting sick and like oh, getting too high and I live by myself and what if I can't wake up if somebody breaks into my house? Um, all stories that I've heard, Delta 10 is a really great way to start. It's like a stepping stone, basically. It's like, it's like drinking a seltzer, but like not like one of those strong seltzers. It's like a watered down seltzer that you get at a bar where they're like, and they're mixing it with soda water. Um, it's like a stepping stone. And again, start with a small amount so that you can see how it makes you feel. But Delta 10 is supposed to make you a little bit more uplifted, a little bit more energetic. So if you are struggling with mental health or mood or anxiety or stress, or you're in a creative role and you want to be a little bit more creative, I highly suggest trying Delta 10. I love Delta 10 in the afternoons. Um, I don't like... I'm, I'm working in an office setting, so in a corporate office setting, so I can't be high at work. Like I can't show that I'm elevated at work, but I do get very stressed, a lot of anxiety at work. And sometimes I just need an afternoon pick me up. Um, I'm sure I can go get a coffee or something. But at that point, if I'm at that age, if I drink coffee in the afternoon now, I have a hard time sleeping. So it's like, eh, 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 like what do you do? So Delta 10 has really helped me. Um, like I have a vape and I'm just like a couple puffs and like it just brings my mood back up. It brings my energy levels back up. It gets me through the rest of the afternoon. So definitely something to try. Um, if you've never tried Delta 10 and you're new to THC and you kind of want something that won't get you so high like Delta 9, but allow you to kind of still function and test out how will Delta 10 help you. Now Delta 10 has a lot of the same benefits as Delta 8 and Delta 9. So Delta 8 and Delta 9 research and anecdotally has shown has shown that it's helped people with pain, it's helped them with anxiety, it's helped them with sleep, it's helped them relax their bodies, it's helped them um, just be more calm, it helps them with mood elevation. So Delta 10 has all those same benefits, but it's just a lighter, it's just, it's, it's just less of that elevation, if that makes sense. So if you have tried Delta 10 before, I would love to hear your experience with Delta 10. Please drop it in the comments below. I'd love to hear your stories. If you have any questions about Delta 10 compared to Delta 8 or Delta 9, let me know. Um, if you're looking for a Delta 10 gummy and a Delta 10 vape that I use, uh, check out mypaincenter.com. We have a really great Delta 10 gummy in a sativa and an indica and also a vape pen. So definitely check that out. And I look forward to seeing you at the next video.